Hi Bobo, this is Marishi, you're my channel to look up. Let's see what is your situation as of now and what you need to get from me for this week. What? Okay, where are you Your first card is a dead card. Okay. So somebody literally wants to have some kind of a transition in their life. Whatever the situation is, they want to move past the past. Okay? Leave the dead behind. Leave what is work not working and move on. So there is a transition. Some of you might be dealing with a scorpion. What else? Where goes out there? Five points and regrets. So that's what. You don't want to fight this anymore. You want to just let it be. You want to surrender to the situation. Okay? It's stressing you out. Whatsoever it's stressing you out, but you really want to break the chains. You don't want to be stuck in there anymore. If you look at this card, the person is literally restrained. So you don't want to be in there. You don't want to be in that mindset anymore. So you want to break free from all this. Give me one more. There might have been so much conflicts. Hmm? It could be between people. It could be just you thinking. So much conflicting thoughts in regards to what needs to be done. But you want to move past it. Give me one more. Okay. It's almost like the way the card is not coming out. Uh, it's like you're still stuck. You know, you really want to move past it, but you're stuck. You know, you're like glued to your chair. You want to get up, but you can't. For some reason, you can't. What else? Yes. Yes. It's your hope, wishes that you want to move away. You really want to let go of the past. Okay? Yes, definitely. You don't want to even look back. For me, uh, if you're used to my readings, then you know this card for me is a no U-turn card. You're walking away. You're literally walking away, but then you don't have the intention to come back. So no U-turn. Hmm? So that's your wish. You don't want to look back anymore. Once you're done, you're done. Okay? You're done with them. You're done with whatever that situation is. What else, please? Where goes out there? Okay. Yes. Uh, so this is a card which I'm going to pick up, but this card wanted to pop out. So this is how you feel. Just like I was speaking about you glued to your chair. You're stuck, okay? There, it's easy to get up, okay? It's easy for me to get up, but I'm, I can't. I just don't feel like I can, but I can, <laughs> yeah. So this is like, you're not tied all that tightly, okay. There is swords around you, you have a blindfold, etc. But it's easy to remove your, uh, you know, uh, the tie so you can take off the blindfold. It's just easy. It's just that in your mind mindset, it feels very really much a challenge, okay. So let's see what's a card. So you're stuck. Whatever the situation is, you're stuck in your head. What needs to be done? How do I move past this? So, yes, Nine of Pentacles. It's going to be very slow. Whatever uh, uh, action you're going to take is going to be very slow. It's going to be well thought through. Hmm? There is a slowness about this whole reading. Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius person, a Leo, a strong Leo energy, or another Virgo. Okay, what else please? Or a Gemini. This is regards to a commitment. Give me one more. Okay, yeah. You want to bring some kind of a balance within a commitment. It doesn't, lovers just doesn't have to be another person. It could be, you know, any kind of commitment which you have um in a relationship it could be with family situation it could be a job situation everything is a commitment because i see so many people around you okay which is conflictual 
who are conflicting with you. Okay? Yeah. You want to bring some kind of a balance. And you're slowly walking towards it. What else, please? Ooh. Right now, uh, that's not the card which I wanted to pick, but Five Pentacles, this is the way you feel. You feel very much deserted. You feel you don't have the support of the people around you. You feel very much outcasted. Um, you know, you're out in the cold. You feel kind of betrayed. Okay? Let's put it back in there, and this is the card. Yes, half it in reverse. It's all about things falling apart. There is no stability in there anymore. Whatever commitment you have, um, things are falling apart. Hmm? Yeah. It seems like you are trying to make it work slowly. Okay? Um, or somebody really wants to transition from this commitment, which is not working out or make things better within this, okay? Because slow moving energy, I don't know what you're up to, but this is a way you're dealing with this. You're taking the approach of doing things very slowly. So things can go uh, in your favor the way you want it to, okay? Maybe somebody really wants to be done with this and that is their wish, or somebody really wants to fix things, that is their wish, okay? Right now, what I see is things have fallen apart. Things are just not working. There is no stability in there. What else, please? But you want to bring some kind of a balance. What else, please? Where go? Queen of Swords and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you might be uh, dealing with a Taurian, a Virgo, or a Libra. Okay? Uh, but I feel like this is a person who... Uh, this is the way you are coming through. You are the queen of swords. Or it could be the other person, okay? But this is the way, like, you know, you're not being very... Uh, logical about this. You're not being very mature about this. You're being very selfish. Or the other person is doing this to you. Hmm? The person whom you're dealing with is, is a little nasty. Is very selfish very manipulative, thinks only for themselves and not about the other people. Hmm? Prioritizes themselves over everybody else. They don't care what the other people feel. Insensitive. And it feels like they're not even trying to make it work. If things are falling apart, they are at least bothered. Okay? Yes, we have lots in reverse. It's, it's a very, um, the kind of energy which is, you know, bursting through it could be yours or it could be the other person. I cannot point it out, okay? But be very mm, rash, okay? They will go to any extent to um, make things go their way. Or very determined like that. They can manipulate anything uh, to get what they want. So make the choice. Is it you or is it the other person who you are dealing with? Interesting. Knight of Cups in reverse. Very, uh, even there is this overwhelming energy. Okay? All these fights, all these conflicts is overwhelming you. Maybe that's a reason why you're coming through as this um, insensitive person. Let's see. Very conflicting energy. That's why I'm saying there are so many people involved in your reading. It's just, you know, already two queens have come through. A king has come through. So I don't know how many people are involved. Sorry about that. Virgo, let's see. See, three of pentacles in reverse. Things are not just, just not working out. It seems like a warp situation to me, eh? Because with the Harfin and the three of pentacles in reverse, things are just not working out. Hmm? Strength. Another legal card. Okay? 
someone feels like it's it's no point trying to make it work because it's not worth it. No, it's not worth the fight. What else? Third card in reverse. Just what I was saying. It's it's it feels like it's very toxic. That's why this person is like, I don't want to cling on to this anymore. I want to, you know, cut the cords. And I want to move on with the first card as a transition. You you don't want to be stuck in this past energy because it's been toxic. Huh? It's not working. So you come into that realization it's not worth it. I don't want to be holding on to this anymore. It's it's kind of very toxic, very unhealthy. All that. What else? So someone might be deciding to be done with this commitment. And that's what they're wishing for. Give me one more on this. Actually, this one. Yes, moon card. But again, uh, that uncertainty comes through. Now, you're not clear in your head what needs to be done. You don't see the whole picture anymore. That's why you're taking it slowly. You're moving very slowly with a knight of pentacles there. Hmm? You understand this commitment is just not working out. I thought I muted my phone. It's a mute, but still, that's weird. Okay, so maybe that's like thing. I make sense. Yes, it's not working out. Even with the Six of Pentacles, the other person is not willing to invest as much as you. There is an imbalance. There is a complete, like, full stop. Like, nobody is compromising anymore. And you don't want to put in any effort anymore. You might have tried before, but now you're like just giving up. Five wands and the devil card in reverse. You feel this, uh, those lovers in uh, lovers in the center of the reading is just not good enough. Hmm? Whatever this moon is about, so much, um, so, so much is under the wraps. Okay, and it seems like uh, there is a slow approach. The way you're going to move about it, even if you want to be done with it, you're going to take it very slowly. Some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn or a Pisces energy, very strong uh, Capricorn energy in there. Gemini. Let's see what this uh, moon card is about. You're, you're just not yet sure how to go about this, how to transition, how to you know, leave it behind. Just what I'm saying. He's just hanging in there. Wanting to know, you know the full story. Waiting in there to, for things to get revealed. Whatever was hidden, you want it to come through. Very stagnant energy. It's just hanging in there. This is like the Buddha. You know, this person in the normal uh, traditional decks, they will have a halo around their head, which is like, you know, you're getting enlightened, even if it is standing, you're getting your answers. So moon card, which is, you know, things hidden, you're getting your answers. You're hanging in there, right? Stagnant. What else, please? I will. This one. It's your swords. Your heart. You have been hurt so badly. With whatever was going on behind your back, whatever was being hidden from you, well, it's going to hurt you. You're going to be very much affected by what you're going to learn. Hmm? Yeah, it's sad. Yeah. So something is going to be revealed and you're going to be very overwhelmed of, uh, about what is, what is going to come through. Why do you need uh, 
Okay, what's this get kind about? What is this transition about? What's your plan? energy about you know sticking sticking until you're very clear okay even when I'm doing the cards uh, trying to shuffle the cards the answer is not like I haven't come to this conclusion uh, and yet I'm still thinking give me some time let me figure it out so that kind of an energy is there within your reading Two of Pentacles in reverse. So you have been judging with this for some time, but eventually you will come to that conclusion. Eventually you will be done. You will be done juggling. Okay, this is the card. King of Swords. You will be able to make that uh, decision. You will be able to have that clarity in making that decision. Okay? Because King, is somebody, uh, King of Swords is somebody who is like, you know, straight up. They will make a mature, um, you know, a very unbiased decision. Hmm? A very fair person. A very fair person. So, a person who will do the right thing. Yes. He just swords in reverse. So, the person whom you're dealing with might be um, kind of very nasty. Okay, so uh, it's it's uh, it's evident. Okay, because I showed you, I was confused earlier with all the queens, uh, queen of swords in reverse and the uh, queen of swords in reverse. So you are dealing with a person who's kind of a bitch mode. Okay, kind of uh, immature, who who just wants to fight for no reason. That's the kind of person whom you're dealing with. So you're making a decision in regards to how to move on with your life. I think I'll stop here. Hmm? Whatever needs to come through, do. Rest is up to you. So that's it for now. Until next week. Bye-bye.